Welcome back to Kitchen Princess Bamboo Japanese Everyday Food. Today, I want to share with you how to make onigiri. Onigiri is rice bowl in Japanese. This is the very basic of Japanese cuisine. At the beginning of October, it's the season for the rice harvest. We appreciate newly cropped rice because it tastes special. New rice has a special meaning to us because the rice represents the life itself. I will introduce you to eight basic and popular onigiris, which you can find anywhere in Japan. Let's get started. First, wash and clean the rice. Today, I prepared four cups of rice. Pour water to cover, swirl your hand several times. Then pour out the cloudy water to another bowl. Swish your hand like this, pour a generous amount of water, then pour out the cloudy water. Repeat the process, then take out onto the sieve. Don't throw the water, but water your plant. The cloudy water is nutritious and your plants grow well. Cook in a rice cooker with a piece of umeboshi. Now let's prepare the filling. Salted salmon. We can find salted salmon in any grocery store in Japan, but I don't think this is an accessible in ingredient almost all of the country. Here is how I make salted salmon. Slice salmon fillet into 2 cm slices, sprinkle 1 to 1.2% 1 of salt of salmon weight on both sides. Let it sit overnight in the fridge. The salmon would be sweat a little. That's the sign of the salt penetrate into the flesh. Line a piece of parchment paper in a frying pan. Turn the heat to medium. Place your salted salmon in a single layer. Put the lid on and cook for 5 minutes. Flip, cook another 2 to 3 minutes or until it's done. Take out onto a tray, take off skin and bones. Crumble the flesh into chunky flakes. Transfer a container and you can keep the salmon flakes up to 5 days in the fridge. Set aside until used. Next, tuna mayonnaise. Take out a can of tuna into a bowl. Add 2 tablespoons of mayonnaise by using fork Smash the tuna into super fine until it becomes almost like a fiber. Next, okaka. Take out a tablespoon of bonito flakes onto a tray. Moisten with soy sauce. Next one is my favorite, ume tamago. Beat one egg and add a pinch of salt. Heat the frying pan on low. Pour the egg mixture and make scrambled egg. The filling is all set. Let's assemble the onigiri. First, we offer the freshly cooked rice to our ancestors. We do this each time we cook rice. It means every day. The most important thing is washing your hands. Don't forget to rub your finger to wash nails. Be sure to use soap with no fragrance. Before making onigiri, Tear nori seaweed into desired size. Take one seed, fold in half, tear the seed into two. Put a seed over another, then fold in half, tear it in two. There you have four strips of nori seaweed. Set aside. Set a small bowl of vinegary water and salt beside you before start shaping onigiri. First, we are making the very basic seal onigiri. New rice tastes good itself. We want it to, to be simple. Scoop the rice to your rice bowl to cool down a bit. Moisten your hands with vinegary water. Tap your index finger and middle finger on salt to season lightly outside the rice. The amount of salt is about a quarter to one third teaspoon. Spread the salt all over your palm. Take the rice on your hand, then shape into triangle. Keep in mind that you don't want to push too hard. 
Hold the rice with your hand, lightly squeezing the grain together. Form your hand in V shape, rotate onigiri on your hand. Next, umeboshi. Scoop half a bowl of rice into a bowl. Put umeboshi on the rice. Scoop more rice to cover the umeboshi filling. Moisten your palm with vinegary water. Take some salt. Then shape into triangle. Wrap it around with nori seaweed. And put a tiny piece of umeboshi to see what's inside. Repeat the process for each filling. Tuna mayonnaise and okaka is made in the same process. For the salted salmon, I choose sisal leaves to wrap it around for the refreshing smell goes well with fish. For comb cap, I choose to wrap it up with thinly shaped comb cap. We use shaped comb cap for onigiri or udon noodle soup for its umami. If you cannot find it, just use nori seaweed as well. For grilled onigiri, mix the okaka to rice to lightly season. In this case, you have to squeeze the onigiri to stick together. Heat your tamagoyaki pan on medium high, grease the surface with sesame oil. Pan fry until brown on each side. The reason why I use tamagoyaki pan is I can cook each side with the edge. Of course, you can use normal pan. When the each side browned and well cooked, brush soy sauce and mirin mixture. Brush both sides until smells good. Last but not least, ume tamago. This is a kind of my creation and I love the most out of eight. Transfer about two cups of the rice to a bowl. Take out the stone of umeboshi. Tear umeboshi into pieces. Add salted comb cap and toasted sesame seed and mix to combine. Take out a piece of plastic, then fold into onigiri. There you have eight different kinds of onigiri. All of it is very popular in Japan. Onigiri can be your breakfast or lunch or even good for your healthy snack. Give it a try and let me know how you like it. Thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave. Tap the bell icon to be the first one to know my new video is updated. Follow me on social media to see my daily activities. Head over to princessbamboo.com for more information. My store on Amazon has wide variety of stuff so you can check what I am using in my kitchen. Thanks again and see you in a week. Bye!